点的。Hello, I'm Eva from Bourne, and today I'm with Amanda Raymond from Welcome World Herbal Teas. Amanda has been making teas for us since we opened our store in 2000, and I thought it would be a nice idea for Amanda to actually talk about the ingredients in her teas and why she's chosen them and the properties of the teas. So, welcome, Amanda. Nice to have you here. Yeah, nice to be here. Thank you. And you've got some teas with you, but yes. Should we just talk about why you set up Welcome World? So. Um, so, yes, the focus of Walk on World is um, to, to be of assistance to family life, really, to, to offer nurturing and nourishment in different ways, to, to encourage people to recognise that it is possible to rest back and relax and, and open to the opportunities that family life offers us um, in the giving and receiving of love, which isn't always easy for all of us, but it is a great opportunity to, to discover self-love and love of others. And um, the herbs, the, there's a long tradition of, of herbs being assistance to, to, to mothers and um, mothering and to, to family life in a way. And it's, it's a wonderful way for, for mothers to extend, and fathers of course, to extend mm. love within the family. And, um, and, the, the herbs that are used in Welcome World, um, I often call them backyard herbs mm. because they're all herbs that, that mainly grow, grow in the European yeah. climate and they're, they're herbs that are all about nourishment and nurturing and um, herbalists would call them nutrient herbs or tonic herbs and they're sort of about sustaining and saying yes to life and mm. yeah. So if we just go through each of the, the teas yes. that you do for us. So the first one, in chronological order, I should say, yes. is pregnancy, pregnancy joy. So yes. what's, in, what's in the pregnancy joy tea? Yes, so in the pregnancy joy tree, tea is um, one of my, what I often call my favourite herbs, and that is oat straw. And this is probably the herb that I use, I use most in... Can have a look at that, yeah. Yeah, the herb I use most in, in my um, clinic practice and, and um, use a lot in Work and World. Um, mm -hmm. Ostraw, um, to me, is all about self-kindness and, and relaxation. It's, um, it's packed full of vitamins and minerals, particularly calcium. It's also um, considered a nervous system mm -hmm. plant. And um, in pregnancy, for most of us, that, that means change, yeah. whether it's welcome changed or not. And sometimes there can be challenges within that welcome change of, of looking at our finances, of looking where we live, of looking at our relationships, of, of looking at the parent and child relationship. And so this wonderful herb offers its assistance in in just allowing the nervous system to rest back and relax. It, it's considered by herbalists to have the ability to, to normalise the whole of the physiology, physiology mm. of the body when it's under stress. I mean, how amazing yeah. is that? that yeah. This one beautiful plant, when it's made into a tea, offers the opportunity for the physiology of the body to just go when mm. it's under stress in particular. It's um, because it's packed with calcium mm. and it's a nervous system plant, it's great for the heart mm -hmm. and which is always going to be helpful mm. in pregnancy because it, it helps with the immune system. Mm. I, um, also, after years of working as a herbalist, I, I firmly believe that if we support the nervous system, we're supporting the immune system at the same time because mm. you've got that resting back that then allows the immune system to flourish, really. Yeah. So I just love oat straw. It, I can't drink a cup of oat straw without saying yes to life. It's full of aliveness. It's full of vitality. It's um, always been considered a herb for pregnant women, and it's also um, always been a herb considered fertility. 
So anybody who is experiencing difficulty in conceiving, this would be also the plant that I would go to. So it says yes, very much to life, yeah. Also in Pregnancy Joy is, is the wonderful alfalfa. So this is um, a herb that, I, I call it the amazing deep-rooted alfalfa because mm. its roots go deep down mm. into the earth and it yeah. draws up all the nutrients. So it's packed, packed with vitamins and minerals. And also in Pregnancy Joy is the wonderful nettle. Mm. which is any pregnant woman's ally. Mm. And um, most herbalists would consider that that would be the pregnancy mm. herb is nettle. Again, packed with vitamins and mi- minerals and um, just full of well-being, really. It's iron-rich in yes. nettle, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, that's right. Yeah, And also lemon balm, mm-hmm. which um, I put that in the formula to... I see lemon balm as lifting the spirits. And again, not not that every pregnant woman needs her spirits lifting, of course she doesn't, but it's just, again, we're going through massive change mm. when women are pregnant. And so, you know, anything that, that kind of reminds us of the joy, the happiness, and mm. to bring our attention back to that, and um, that, that sustains us in welcoming any challenges that, that come forward. So... Pregnancy joy is about nourishing and sustaining nourishment and about nurturing and about reminding the pregnant woman that she's doing this amazing job Mm. of nurturing and nourishing her baby within her body. So, you know, can she bring that back to herself? Can she say... That's why I say um, that that oat straw is all about self-kindness because it's like, can can we do what we offer to others for ourselves mm. sometimes mm. as well? So, yeah, it's a wonderful tea. Yeah. So, I know sometimes women are a bit wary of taking herbal teas yes, during course. pregnancy. Yeah. So, obviously, this is incredibly safe to, to yes. take. And yes. at what point in pregnancy can you start taking it? Okay. Yes, before pregnancy, okay. um, uh, uh, discovery of pregnancy, mm-hmm. all the way through pregnancy. I mean, as people move along into the last trimester of pregnancy, yeah. a lot of women like to introduce raspberry leaf, of mm-hmm. course, which I know you also mm-hmm. sell in your store as well. So you could either just stop drinking the mm-hmm. um, pregnancy joy tea and move on to raspberry leaf, or you could get a container and tip the bag of Pregnancy Joy and add the mm-hmm. raspberry leaf so then yeah. you get a, mixture. a wonderful mixture. Yeah. yeah. So, um, yes, all the way, bef- as I say, before, during discovery and during pregnancy. There's nothing contraindicated. Okay. And I've worked for many years, as you know, mm-hmm. with pregnant mm-hmm. women. And um, and that's the, the beauty of of working with these, what I call these backyard mm-hmm. nutritional tonic sustaining yeah. herbs that they are safe mm. and they're food really yeah they're nourishing yeah. and they're about nurturing and of course the herbs are always there to remind us what is already within us mm. so you would have how many cups two to three cups a yes. day perhaps yes and there's yes. also something in the ritual of making that there too, is. isn't there that is yes. really important when you're looking yeah. after yourself yeah yes yeah. Definitely, just the fact that you've got to stop, mm. even if it's only for a couple of moments, and make the pot of tea mm. and pour it out, mm. and, and then, you know, if you're able to, sit down or, or drink it on the go, and, you know, whatever. Mm. But yes, um, wonderful to, to make friends with the herbs, really, as well. Mm. Yeah. Great, thank yeah. you. <laughs>